Hi guys and welcome back to Pass and Move and for today's episode in our Parma series we have a very important game here against Padova. It is the Italian Serie C playoff first round and uh, since the last episode there is a lot to tell but it's all disappointing news. Now if you missed it you should definitely check it out uh, but we'll quickly run through the games here. And um, as you can see just a terrible terrible run of games here it's, it seemed like as soon as my players secured the uh, promotional spot they didn't care about the title anymore and we went dropping down the table from second all the way down until sixth i think it should show here yeah sixth. so it was just a terrible end to the season really quite disappointing we were in for a shout with the the title itself with the automatic promotion of course but instead that went to reggiana who in the end held on and uh, our first place ahead on just three points uh, but yeah, just a number of games to quickly go through. A draw here, which we probably didn't really deserve in the first place. We were at home uh, and it was a late equaliser, but thankfully <clears throat> it did uh, help us out, of course. A, a point is better than none. And as you can see here, thoroughly, thoroughly outplayed. And uh, yeah, what followed was a disappointing loss, a 2-0 loss away from home. And uh, not much to tell really. The 2 0 win was uh, quite decent, of course. Uh, I feel like in this uh, series, we've quite often gotten away with wins that we didn't really deserve. Uh, but here, we kind of did deserve it. I mean, we did match them. They only got more half chances than us, but we did somewhat match them with less possession as well, if I might add. So, not too bad. A 1 0 win as well. Very late on, uh, we seem to have a habit of scoring late winners or equalizers, and that continued in today's game. 1-0 win, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty even. I guess uh, our opponents were a bit unfortunate to lose out, but we, yeah, you know, uh, the footballing gods corrected everything by making sure that we got what we deserve later on. 1-0 uh, loss to Modena, draw against Fano, and losses, consecutive losses against Mantova and Padova. Uh, and yeah, we are facing Padova again, and uh, I think uh, they've beaten us twice through the season. Actually, no, we, we beat them away from home. So that's, I guess we do have a chance of beating Padova, but they do go into this game as favourites uh, for sure, without a doubt. We are in the first playoff round. I think the board have adjusted their expectations. Uh, it says reach playoff here, uh, which we've done. For some reason, I can't see what the new expectations are. Um, Let's have a quick look here. See, there you go. Italian Serie C playoff. The minimum expectation is just to reach the semi final. Now, since we're playing against Padova, it seems a bit unlikely that we'll actually hit that target. And uh, I'm not sure what the board will do if we do lose. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a first round, second round, quarter final, and semi final. In the first round, we do have to face off against Padova. And uh, there's a number of teams that we can actually face off against in the second round. Um, but it looks like it's going to be Bassano, and then after that, in the quarterfinal, could be any of these two teams here. Oh, actually, there's three teams, I think. Uh, but yeah, just increasingly getting harder, and uh, I don't think they'll be too disappointed. I mean, the, the uh, expectations were just to get into playoff spots, so... But yeah, it would be really, really, dis really disappointing considering how the season went uh, for us to miss out on getting promoted to the Serie B. But if not... Plenty and plenty of work to be done ahead. We're definitely going to be improving this team uh, thoroughly. And uh, as you can see, our committed spend for the next season is only 32k. So that does leave us with quite a huge wage budget to work with. We're going to be bringing in a bunch of players. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get into today's game. And uh, we'll start off on the counter just to be safe. Uh, we don't seem to be too, doing too well on the attacking uh, mentality. And uh, hopefully my team can respond after these recent poor forms. I think I've already had a team meeting with them. Um, as you can see, they are in good morale. So I think I'll just leave that as is. And uh, we should just start today's game, really. Uh, let me just have a quick look at fitness. Everyone's good in terms of fitness. And... Um, Let's see how today's game goes. We are at home. We should be beating Padova. We've done it before. Can we do it again? And uh, they'll definitely be wanting to, uh, you know, get promoted. Everyone will want to get promoted, really. It's going to be tough. Teams are going to be determined. 
and let's see how far we can go. Uh, I think I'll be doing this game first, the first round of the playoff. Apparently it's evens uh, odds, sorry about that. And uh, but the expert thinks that Padova will win. Anyways, uh, what I was saying was that I think we'll do the first round uh, playoff game. I don't think we'll continuously you know, show every single round. If we reach the final, I'll definitely show you the final. If not, we'll just start next episode in the new season uh, of the possibly Serie C. But anyways, um, Padova's playing with a 4-3-3. We're going with our standard formation and standard team, really. And uh, hopefully our new signing, Sakor, our box-to-box -box midfielder, can do something special here. He'll need to do something because uh, we are playing against three men with a two-man midfield. So, two-man midfield, sorry. So, uh, you know, uh, most of the work will be going to the box-to-box -box midfielder. Anyways, um, we are asking for revenge. Can we see the best type of revenge today with a good performance, a good win? Uh, you know, I'll even take a 1-0 win, really. But we're going to get a bit of an intro here. Padova sticking to 4-3-3. Um, and yeah, we'll kick off the ball first. And let's see if my players can put any sort of improvement in terms of recent performances. There's an instant ball into the box. And unfortunately, Guazo couldn't capitalize on that. We almost held onto the ball well there. But instead, we've headed it away. And that highlight amounts to nothing in the end. But yeah, nil-nil. Uh, uh, coming up to 10 minutes now and uh, you know uh, we really do need to press on here uh, unfortunately for my team we never really seem to have a majority or even an even sort of sense of possession I know we play direct and I've mentioned it before possession isn't everything in the world um, but it'll be nice to see us hit the 40s and we've done it here there's going to be a set piece but thankfully we we'll deal with that and we are on the counter we are playing a counter mentality can we capitalize Guazo's got the ball here can he find anyone special he finds Baghetto and he has the chance to put the ball into the box instead he's tackled and that looks like that will be the end of our attack but instead Migueleta does well to win it and Sakor our box to box midfielder plays it safely back to Colley Colley tries to hit it forward to our target man but yeah, we're doing well to hold on to the ball and uh, Padova can't really get rid of it. So we put a good ball into the box and Kalio makes no mistake to tuck it home. A great header and a great cross and uh, we will be leading 1-0. Can we keep this up? Uh, we'll get another chance to see this cross from Baghetto and what a header. Just watch this. Climbs above two men. Goalkeeper completely guessing the wrong way. Top corner. There's no way Bindi's saving that either way. But yeah, 1-0. There's another immediate highlight. Hopefully that goes our way as well. Uh, but instead, it is Padova with the ball and uh, Nanzella does well to win it. And straight away, we are on the counter. Guazo, can you do something? Instead, he just absolutely loses the ball. I guess I did say, I didn't, uh, you know, put specifics. I did say something and not something great. Either way, uh, Padova is still holding on to the ball here with a 4-3-3 for a formation. Uh, you can expect them to hold on to the ball well here. They are just passing it about, trying to break us down. Migueleta almost looked like he was going to get a second yellow. And uh, that's an incredible tackle. But unfortunately, it ends up in Padova's hands. And they have managed to equalize. Uh, and a bit of misfortune there, really. Uh, as you can see here, what a great tackle. But it still falls to Padova, man. And what a ball from their player. And uh, Fantachi. Does incredibly well to tuck that home uh, first try, really. Uh, great volley. But either way, we are we will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Padova. And uh, there's going to be one more highlight by the looks of it before half-time. And hopefully it goes our way. Canini does well to find Nocellini. Can he put a good ball into boxing? Does exactly that with Calio. Got way too excited there. Couldn't even speak anymore. But either way, I just hit the bar. And uh, unfortunately, couldn't do what he did earlier and score the second. Uh, but not too bad. 1-1. Uh, considering how recent performances have gone, but some of these players have have had bad games. Nzella and Guazo performing poorly—that's a bit, uh, you know, not nice to see. But overall, a decent performance. I'm not sure whether to tell them happy or unlucky, or to, I think I'll just tell them to keep going out there. And uh, yeah, should tell them I still have some faith in them. And hopefully they can push on and grab us our second goal. Padova still sticking with their 4-3-3 formation in the second half. And uh, hopefully we can show them that possession doesn't matter. They've had the more half chances, but in terms of shots uh, and possession, we're pretty close to each other. And there's, there's going to be an immediate highlight after the second half. It is a corner. Nocellini does well to head it out, but Padova will hold on to the ball here. They're going to get another chance to put the ball into the box. But of course, they're going to be working their way around. Uh, first as they are a possession based team either way uh, shot from outside of the box 
really not going anywhere and that is the end of that pointless uh, highlight. It's the 60th minute so we'll be looking to make some changes here. There are three players who have performed quite horribly and two of them are our fullbacks. Um, we want to be making attacking changes so it's a bit, it's not too nice to see fullbacks performing so poorly there but uh, I have no choice but to take them off really. And I think we'll do just that and hopefully they can be the key uh, to our performances. But anyways, uh, you know, I'd much rather make attacking changes, but with players performing so horribly, uh, you really can't just keep them on the pitch. They're just going to keep getting worse and worse and possibly make more errors. We're going to get a chance to set piece here. Can we score from direct set piece? And that's exactly what you do through Baghetto. Keeper does well to save it at first. But we've done well to respond to going a man, uh, to going not a man down, but a goal down rather, uh, or an equaliser actually. Um, but either way, yeah, God knows what that guy on the post is doing. Either way, Bigetto capitalises on it, and we are leading 2-1. Can we hold on and not concede once again? We'll get to see in just a minute. That is the first clear-cut chance of the game. It's 70th minute here, and it just keeps winding. We just need to continue winding down. We're going to get another chance to set piece. Can we make it two? Ah, that was pretty close, but Bindi does well to deal with it there, uh, unlike the first time. And it looks like um, Padova have switched to an attacking 4-4-2 formation, 4-2-4 uh, really. And I'm not sure whether to go any more defensive just yet. I think we'll hold on until the 80th minute. There you go, clock just keeps winding down. We'll switch to defensive and play everyone on a sort of defensive... Uh, uh, role, uh, duties rather than roles, sorry, and then we'll switch to contain soon. There's 10 minutes left to the game. Can we hold on here? It looks like we might just about do that. Uh, there's five minutes left now and the clock just keeps winding down. But unfortunately, it looks like we're going to get one more highlight and I hope Bigetto doesn't do anything stupid here. And uh, hopefully we can get a second goal cushion. Marconi goes all the way. Can he score? That's exactly what he does. And it looks like we will be going through to the second round of this playoff. And we're doing really well to uh, really come back from the recent poor performances. Marconi just going all the way here. That's pretty much a solo goal. I'm not sure you can count that as an assist. But what a blast of a goal, really. And uh, Bindi has done not too badly. This game is uh, yeah, left, uh, you know, stuck to his uh, ground, really. Couldn't do much about that. Uh, but it is Padova coming through with the counter-attack. And it seems quite weird that they're, on, uh, they're managing to be on the counter-attack, considering we are on the contained duty. And it looks like it's going to be a nervy end to the game with Padova scoring a second. God knows what my defenders were doing. Uh, we're going to get another chance through the 3D here and uh, just... What on earth is going on here? Missed the header. Goalkeeper just running out for absolutely no reason. And it will be a nervy ending uh, with 30 seconds left of the game. Hopefully, it's not going to be a late equaliser. And instead, for once, I'm hoping it's going to be a pointless highlight. But uh, either way, they're coming forward with the ball here. Canini does well to deal with it. Uh, just plays it safe back to a goalkeeper. We just need to hold on, uh, hold on to the ball for another about 10 seconds. But instead, that we just lose out immediately. And hopefully, Bindi... Uh, just waste time and looks like he's doing that a little bit. Uh, Colley does well to win it. Marconi just plays safe. Instead he's a bit of an idiot but thankfully that ends 3-2 to us. It is quite the game for the neutrals uh, but thankfully we win and that's all that matters and uh, we will be going into the second round playoff by the looks of it. It will be against uh, Bassano as it says here. Palmer to play Bassano. That is going to be an interesting game. We did go head-to-head uh, -head with these players. Marconi finally does end his goal draw. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, uh, we lost to them in a friendly, we lost to them in a series C away from home uh, and it looks like the second round is two legs so it's going to be quite the nervy set of games, hopefully we can end it in the first leg but yeah, uh, it looks like Bassano a bit of a weak team, we even lost against them at home, this does not look uh, you know, good for us. Um, but yeah, you know, my players defied the odds here, hopefully they can defy the odds one more time, it is the second round. I've actually already forgotten how many rounds we go through. Um, let's have a quick look here. This is the second round, quarterfinal and semi-final. So we still need to win these two set of games uh, to make it just to match expectations, really. Um, but yeah, the next episode should definitely hopefully be the final. If not, it will be the first game of the next season uh, in, if it is in the Series C. If not, um, obviously, I'll show you the final before we actually get promoted to the Series If we end up getting promoted to Series B. Uh, but either way, I think that will be all for today's episode and uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe and uh, as always, 
once again, thank you all for watching.